What's up everybody, John McLean with FPS Outdoors and FPS Holsters, and we got another prize gun review for you. Now before we get started, if you have ever thought about buying a Walther PDP firearm, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So that is of course the gun that we've one this time and so we're gonna talk about it and then we're gonna go straight out to the range to to the footage of me shooting it so let's get started So I was actually very excited to see this certificate on the prize table of the Zombies 3-Gun Match that I just got done shooting. And because um, it was a gun that I was like, I, I know a lot of people have said good things about it. And so I want to give it a try. So let's talk about what comes in the box. Obviously, the first thing that came in the box was a PDP 5-inch compact. Now, what does that mean? That means you have a full-size slide, barrel, sight radius, and all that kind of stuff, but you get a compact frame, so it's just a little bit shorter. Magazines are 15 rounders, and you get two of those. You also get uh, some tools to remove, like, the screws for the optics cut and for adjusting your rear sight here. Then you get instruction manual, a lock, and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, let's talk about this real quick. See, most companies, they include several different plates, right? Because you might like Acro, and then another person might like a Trigicon, and another person might like a Delta Point, and other people like me prefer Vortex. And so you have to have the ability to swap out the plates so that it can um, receive whatever red dot optic you're gonna put on there. However, with Walther, what they do is they include no plates. Basically, you will uh, get onto their website, let them know you have a firearm that uh, you want to get plates for, and then you go and you tell them which plate you want for which optic, in which case they will then send it to you. I just did mine online, and it did say it would take delivery of four to six weeks. That kind of sucks. That's a long time to be sitting waiting for a plate if you want to put a red dot optic on this thing. However, for the sake of this video, we just went ahead and stuck with iron sights because I don't want to throw extra stuff on the gun. I want to shoot the gun as it comes in the box. So that's what we do. Oh, I will mention this though, and this is actually a cool little feature. You'll notice that there's a slide stop on both sides of the gun. The other cool thing about this gun is you can actually take this piece and swap it to the other side. So while you can't have ambidextrous controls all the time, this gun can be ambidextrous whether or not you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter. So now there's one more thing that I want to point out about the gun. And it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just a thing that I noticed. Okay. You can hear this trigger make a weird click before getting to the wall. So it's not like I, I don't know what it, it, its purpose is, but here it is. See, that's the shot break and it's got a good reset like a good positive reset that trigger is actively pushing forward to help you reset it faster but that little click um i don't know if it's I, i'm assuming it's got something to do with how the trigger and the striker and all that kind of stuff is working together um and i thought that that was going to be more of a uh, an issue than it really was once I got it to the range. Okay. I didn't, once I was in full on, like just draw the gun out of a holster, get it on target and start squeezing the trigger. Um, I didn't notice the click at all. I would prep the trigger just right past it all the way to where I needed to. And I'd start shooting and everything ran great. So, uh, the other thing I'll note is I did not add any additional lubricant to this gun. We just took it out straight from the box and took it out to the range. So let's start cutting into some of the videos of me at the range.
some of the things I like about this gun. I liked the feel and the balance of it. Believe it or not, even though it's a, a heavier gun on the top end, um, it, it, it doesn't feel like it's constantly wanting to drop the nose down. It's just got a good balance to it. The grip is very comfortable to get into. Um, the only thing I would say is for, for my grip, you'll notice that again, my thumbs kind of hit and rest on that slide stop. So while it's not a huge deal um, that it doesn't lock back all the time for me, uh, that's just something to note as far as, you know, my experience with shooting it. Um, sight picture, I actually didn't really notice much of a difference when it came to actually getting the gun up on target and squeezing the trigger with the proper sight picture. It maybe took a little bit of getting used to, but that's just because I'm not used to the three dot sight picture. I'm typically used to a fiber optic front sight and then a wide serrated uh, rear blade that's just plain. So visually just took a little bit of like getting used to seeing three dots with it. Trigger felt absolutely fantastic for a stock striker fire pistol. Uh, the other thing about it is you do get some uh, replacement back strap grips here and I just left the, I think it's the medium, it's got an M on the back here. Um, this is what the gun came with. Uh, maybe I'll try it with a little bit larger one just because I feel like I could have I, I could get or I want to get this hand up a little bit more into that grip and get it involved a little more uh, so I might throw a, a big one on the back there but what I can say is for the feel of it for someone with my hands which are not they're not massive but they're not small either um, I feel like I've got plenty of excess like I don't I don't even have to shift my grip to get to that magazine release um, which I do for like 1911s a little bit so for those people that have like the medium to small medium sized hands this gun is actually really going to fit your hand very very nicely what are some things I didn't like about it well like I said nah I wish not that I didn't like it but I wish it just came with one more mag I think three mags is perfect why do I think three mags is perfect it's because three mags can get you into an IDPA match. So for those that are interested in a gun kind of like this, where this would be a fantastic gun to shoot in competition, um, three magazines gets you involved into IDPA without having to buy extra gear for the gun other than, you know, something like a holster from FPS holsters <laughs> or mag pouches or anything like that. Um, so I kind of wish that was a plane. The last thing I'm gonna point out that I wish came with it is just some optic plates. I get it. It makes sense, right? Like you don't want to manufacture and waste material and time and energy and all and resources into sending multiple plates when most people are going to pick one plate and then throw the other three away. They have no intentions of trying any other red dots on this gun. Like they know what they like, they want. They want a Delta Point, they want a, a, a RMR or something like that. And that's the plate they're gonna put on. I get it, you're, you're saving yourself money. But man, four to six weeks is a long time to wait to put uh, a red dot on the gun just because I'm waiting for a plate. But other than that, look, this gun was a lot of fun to shoot. I did have a good time shooting with it. Great trigger, great feel. Um, it, it really was a, a pleasure to shoot. So what I would say is if I was going to rate this gun on like a scale of one to ten about would I buy it or would I be happy with this purchase, then I'm going to give it a, a seven. I'm going to give it seven, seven and a half. And the only reason I'm giving it a seven, seven and a half, like I said, if the optics plate having to wait that long for it does kind of suck. Um, and personally, okay, this is just a personal thing. I do wish maybe the um, slide lock was... I don't know, just in a different location. I do like the, the gun to have the ability to slide lock. It's not a necessity, but I do kind of like it being an option. And just with the way that I personally gripped the gun, like they placed it exactly where I want to put my thumb. So, it, I mean, it's, I guess a plus side is that I, I rest my thumb on it and I actively push down on it. So it kind of helps keep that grip a little bit engaged, but mm, that's really the only other thing I can complain about. Hey, there's probably not going to be the perfect gun with the perfect package out there um, for everybody, right? Everyone's going to want 
something a little bit different. So that's just how it goes. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this prize gun review. I hope you found it uh, enjoyable and resourceful and useful and all kinds of stuff. Look, if you're looking for a holster for a Walther PDP, check out fpsholsters.com. Yes, this is my company that I am starting. I would appreciate any support. And uh, we do have holsters for the Walther PDP available on our website. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop more videos for more prize gun reviews as I've got some other matches coming on. So with that being said, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one.